Hi everyone, uh, so today we're looking at the ABIS model 3455. It's a solid steel uh, padlock, uh, hardened steel uh, shackle, double ball bearing mechanism with a key retaining actuator, and a very nasty six pin cylinder which is just absolutely full of spool pins. The keyway is typically uh, ABIS uh, with a paracentric design and very tight tolerances and generally this is not a very forgiving lock. I mean this is probably take 18 or something at this point. I, I'm not even going to try to count. But we're going to start off with a uh, modified Peterson pry bar that'll fit into that uh, tight warding and we're going to start off with a Peterson number one hook and we're going to be very very careful here because it's very easy to uh, inadvertently overset these uh, these pins. I'm just going to feel around very carefully for a binding pin now it looks like we've got four binding on us now and now five now I can't seem to work uh, the hook under there so we're going to switch to a half diamond pick uh, to try to get underneath that sticking pin which it has Possibly a little too well, but okay. There we go. So we've now cleared the gatekeeper, which is pin one, and we have a false set going. So this should help us somewhat. Uh, now it feels like number three is unset again, and now four. So this is the, the hard part. When you have a false set, some of these spool pins will not give you a lot of feedback uh, about whether or not they are binding. Okay, and now it's number two that needs to be set. And we have to very carefully back off our tension. And there we go. So we've got it open. We're going to open this up for you so you can see just how uh, all of this works. Now, I'm not sure if the lighting is good enough, but there is a large Phillips head screw in there, and you can see one of the ball bearings from the retaining mechanism. So we're going to get our screw screwdriver out, and you'll see as I undo the screw, that uh, retaining cylinder is going to pop out, and there we go. So we're done with the body for now. Now this is the retaining uh, nut. It's a very substantial piece of solid steel, again like the rest of the lock. And this is our uh, cylinder. So we're going to get our tweezers and our little homemade uh, pinning block out. And what we're going to do first is just rotate this the rest of the way because like American lock designs, this has uh, openings in the bottom and we can just tip the key pins out. So there's pin 6, pin 5, 4, come on, 3, okay, 1, and finally didn't seem to want to come out there but we've got it now and now we're going to pop the c-clip off the back use this flathead screwdriver and just sort of carefully pry it off because we don't want to end up stabbing ourselves and there we go so c-clip is off And we have to be very careful to not uh, relock this because without the key pins in there, 
uh, this becomes a very difficult thing to fix. I've actually broken a few parts in this trying to trying to do that when I've accidentally uh, relocked it. Now, okay, there is driver pin from chamber six, and it's a spool. There's driver pin from chamber five, that's also a spool. There's a spool from chamber four. Spool from chamber three. Spool from chamber two. And finally, from chamber one, the one standard pin. So there you have it. That is your pinning. And just so you can see what the key looks like. This is not uh, an easy pick by any means. Uh, that very radical bidding and all of these spools, which are very well machined and very, uh, well, they haven't worn down yet, so maybe over time they might uh, become a bit easier to work your way past, but this is not, uh, this is not a master lock by any stretch. So, keep that in mind. It's a very fun pick and very satisfying once you do, uh, work your way into it. That's the uh, Avis 3455, and really, uh, you can get these remarkably cheaply uh, online, uh, usually from eBay, but, uh, you know, they're a good choice if you need something really substantial to lock, to lock something up. It's not going to give you the same protection as uh, a disc detainer or a uh, medico biaxial or something like that, but for a, a traditional pin tumbler lock, this is probably one of the best I've seen. So, until next time, have fun, happy picking, and stay safe.